Nick, you notice I'm sitting down to start this video off, right? You're pretty comfortable here. Oh, you know why that might be? I don't know. Everyone knows Herco, so Bingo. it's like I almost don't even have to do my job today. There but I'm go. gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna stand up and talk with you about this beautiful five axis machine. Would you like to share some of the details of this Herco machine we're standing in front of? Yeah, this is a uh, BX series machine, so it's actually a bridge style machine. A lot of people don't know that Herco uh, does offer uh, that style machine. Um, another couple things about this, it's got an HSK spindle. Also, a lot of people don't uh, associate Herco with HSK. Right. Uh, 18,000 RPM. Um, scales on this machine, it, this is a high-end machine. Um, you know, and a lot of people just don't, uh, don't know that Herco gets into the high-end world. So, I'm pretty excited to have this one here. You know, I'm, I'm really happy that you said that because even though I started this thing sitting off, even though we, we all know the Herco brand, you're right. We think of Herco and we go, wait a second, wait a second, HSK, five axis machine. These are starting to be high quality, 18,000 RPM, right? Now we're playing yep. the game of, wait a second, I can do more with this. You're in the big boy world now. You're in the big so, boy world. Oh yeah. But you also mentioned, to start this off, that not everyone knows about some of the capabilities. We know the brand, we certainly know the famous software and how the conversation allows everyone to do more with it, to program from the machine. Yeah. We know a three axis machine from Herco, but now we're looking at five axis. What about turning? Turning? We can do that too. You can do turning. We can do turning. Let's no take problem. a look and talk a little bit more oh. about that. Yep. Well, Nick, we made it to a turning center, which we want to create more awareness for. You're standing in front of the very famous conversational software, which everyone knows. But let's talk about the turning center from Herco, some of the great differentiators that set it apart and why it's such an amazing machine. Yeah, I mean, um, one of the biggest things about Herco is obviously the control, um, conversationally. I am a service guy. I'm really good at fixing stuff. I am not good at running machines. I don't pretend to. I don't know feeds and speeds. I don't know none of that stuff. Um, feeds and speeds are already in the, in the machine, 100% conversational. If you can read basic English, actually, we can even change the language on it, too, if you, if you can't read English. Um, but if you can read and if you can decipher pictures, you can run this thing. Um, it's really that easy. Um, another thing about Herco too is they're not as known as much for their turning. Um, this is a live tooling machine. So live tooling, programmable tail stock. It's got a parts catcher, um, you know, a, um, a probe on it. So a lot of people don't know that. They're not just dabbling in two axis turning. Um, they've got slant bed style, they've got flat bed style, they've got, they got a little bit of everything. And actually they're expanding um, their, their turning product line. I think that's one of the biggest things they're kind of working on developing now, uh, now that they're starting to gain traction. Um, and a lot of that, uh, they have the opportunity because of the control. Um, mm -hmm. You get a lot of shops. We've got one shop that's got 37 Herco machines. Their whole entire shop from front to back, bridge mills, boring mills, absolutely everything. Turning centers. You can go control to control to control and there's virtually no learning curve. Um, another thing actually that I, I wanna kind of talk about while we have it here, this is one of the things that we do, it was an idea that, um, that somebody else at Herco talked about, is we do free control training for life. Um, it doesn't matter if you bought the machine from us, it doesn't matter if it's an old control, new control, I don't care if you found the thing, uh, you know, and your uncle gave it to you for free. It doesn't matter to me, come to our showroom, get some free training. Um, you know, we kind of rotate class, I think we do uh, mill, mill turning, mill, mill turning, so. Um, in fact, we have a class coming up next week, so. If there's any uncles out there that want to give me a machine, that sounds good. I feel like starting a machine <laughs> shop myself. There we go. So, we've talked about 3-axis machining, which Herco, we've known for a long time to do. We were just talking about 5-axis machining, which is important to know that Herco can do, but I think we're, we know about that. Yep. Now we're creating more awareness for turning, but we also realize that it's just the aware awareness we're talking about. But they've been doing this a long time as well, which is important because it wasn't just made yesterday exactly. and we still have to fail and repeat and grow yep. and learn this has been happening for a long time yep. we're just helping support the awareness of it exactly yep well so. then i have one more question for you what is up with takumi well i don't know if you know this uh most people don't takumi is owned by herco takumi is owned by herco could we share a little bit more about the takumi machine for the audience let's go check it out we got one over here let's do it oh. well nick i see orange I see kind of the same shape as the five axis we were just looking at. And this is owned by Herco. So let's educate the audience and let them know, well, this is a three axis machine. Are we losing? Are we gaining? Are we growing? Are there differences between Herco and Takumi? Where can we just have a great discussion about this machine for the audience who's just now learning? Wait a second, the two are together? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I think the main difference, obviously, color scheme. Um, you know, we, we call it the skin. This has got the Takurka, uh, sorry, the Takumi skin on it. Uh, and then you've got the Herco skin. Um, this base here is the same base as is on the BX40 UI machine that we just talked about. Um, so it's originally, actually, the BX40 UI was a originally a Takumi machine. Uh, main difference, that bad boy right there. Not everybody wants the Herco control. Not everybody understands the Herco control. Not everybody needs the Herco control. You know, they might want, uh, you got multiple different brands and you want to be able to post from one machine to the next machine to the next machine. Well, here you go, Fanuc. So we can do C-frames in these. We can do five axis. We can do obviously three axis. We can do baby bridge mills. So a little bit of everything. And it really is, that's the difference. And that's what makes the decision between I'm going to have equal quality. I have equal options, it sounds like, as yep. well when it comes to the machine. It's just more or less that conversational programming, which is amazing. Let's not be wrong about that. Yeah. But some people are just familiar with Fanuc. Exactly. And that's the main difference between the two brands. Yep, yep, exactly. Yeah, I mean, um, as far as the offerings, uh, this, uh, you know, I mean, this is, a, this is a couple year older machine, so it's actually got a little bit different spindle than the, uh, you know, than the BX machine over here. Mm -hmm. But you look at the new machines coming in, same spindle configurations, same conveyors. One gets the orange and black paint job. One gets the, uh, you know, the, the gray and blue that everybody's familiar with. So, so pretty much, if I'm an audience member watching right now, and I go, well, my favorite color is orange, or my favorite color is blue, Bingo. but my favorite way to program is through FANUC or through the conversational programming. Yep. That really makes the difference. Everything else is quite similar to the new models coming absolutely. in. Absolutely, yep, absolutely. I hope we've clarified all of this for you. I hope we've created awareness for you. When you think of Herco, we do have Takumi. We do have five axis. We do have turning. We do have Merrifield. You wanna give these guys a call and learn more? Give them a shout We're right, right here. here in Michigan. Yep. Awesome, Nick. You are amazing. Again, I thank you all so much for joining MTD CNC, and I hope that we have been a benefit to your time. And, Nick, thank you again for being thank a part of the show. Thank you for the opportunity.